to report, sir. Good on you for not reporting anything. Uh, we need to go there. That was our main mission for quite a long time. Party's fine. We'll change them. We just need to get some... Not some beefalo. Beefalo? Stay back, beefalo. Don't have to get my ass hurt by you, because you're pretty freaking strong. Ah, uh, it's not Alfred. I need Alfred. I, I really need Alfred. Hawk and the Grey Warden should be inside that cave. What's Hawk doing there? Is that Alfred? No, that's something not Alfred. I have to dedicate some time to going, find, going to find Alfred soon. I never thought we'd run out of Alfred, to be honest. Hey, buddy. Glad you made it. I just got here myself. My contact with the wardens should be at the back of the cave. A group of wardens were protecting a villager from corpses out near Crestwood. They were likely hunting my friend. I'm glad they didn't come looking for people to help in here. They might well be good men, but they've been given bad orders. I thought so. I'll still talk to you? Let's go. Okay. Meet Hawks, Warden Ally in Crestwood. Let's take some mushrooms first, because we need seeds that they give us. Supposedly. Oh, obsidian there. I guess we'll take. We need obsidian. We have no obsidian. Oh. We're running out of a lot of supplies, it seems. Where was one? There. We used to have an abundance, but now we don't. I remember Haven had quite a lot of fruit actually. Banner of the Blind Men. This banner marks the cave as an outpost of the blind men. Notorious smugglers who are known to sell slaves to the Tevinto. It is possible that the Grey Warden asked them politely to leave so that he could use their hideout. Although the bloodstains on the wall suggest otherwise. That's interesting. No dodgy stuff, Kim. I'm watching you. Hmm. That's Mustache. Oh, that Mustache. It's just us. I brought the Inquisitor. Shit, don't you know who we are? Do you know who I am? My name is Toud, and I'm at your service, Inquisitor. Honestly, I don't care for you, so... I need to know why the Wardens disappeared. Could it have anything to do with Corypheus? Mm, I fear it is so. When my friend Hawk slew Corypheus, Weishaupt was happy to put the matter to rest. But an archdemon can survive mm. wounds that seem fatal, and I feared Corypheus might possess the same power. My investigation uncovered clues, but no proof. Then, not long after, every warden in Orlais began to hear the calling. Maker! Why didn't you tell me? It was a Grey Warden matter. I was bound by an oath of secrecy. the calling some sort of Grey Warden ritual? The calling tells a Warden that the Blight will soon claim him. It starts with dreams. Then come whispers in his head. The Warden says his farewells and goes to the deep roads to meet his death in combat. Okay. And every Grey Warden in Orlais is hearing that right now. They think they're dying. Yes. Likely because of Corypheus. If the Wardens fall, who will stand against the next Blight? It is our greatest fear. So Corypheus isn't controlling them. He's bluffing them with this calling. And they're falling for it. Is the calling they're hearing real? Or is Corypheus mimicking it somehow? I know not. Even as a senior Warden, 
I had heard only the vaguest whispers of Corypheus. The Wardens believe that this calling is real, and they will act accordingly. That is all we know for certain. How can Corypheus make all these Wardens hear the calling? I cannot say. We know little about him, save that he is dangerous. He is a Magister, as well as a Darkspawn, and speaks with the voice of the Blight. That lets him affect the minds of Wardens, since we are tied to the Blight ourselves. It must be how he created this false calling. You said all the Wardens are hearing the calling. Does that include you? Sadly, yes. It lurks like a wolf in the shadows around a campfire. The creature that makes this music has never known the love of the Maker, but... at times, I almost understand it. We must uncover what Corypheus has done and end it. This cannot stand. They're desperate. So the Wardens are making some last desperate attack on the Darkspawn? We are the only ones who can slay Archdemons. Without us, the next Blight will consume the world. That could be bad. Warden Commander Clarell spoke of a blood magic ritual to prevent future Blights before we all perished. What? When I protested the plan as madness, my own comrades turned oh, on me. Okay. Grey Wardens are gathering here, in the Western Approach. It is an ancient Tevinter ritual tower. Meet me there, and we will find answers. Let's go. So, I'm guessing that this blood ritual isn't exactly what they're saying it is. Uh, I hope that's a codex. That's a lot of reading there. Come on, codex update. Yee, codex. A lot of codexes. <laughs> Hi, Hawk. Oh, are you following us now? So, return to Skyheart and scout the Western Approach. I don't feel like it, to be honest. I still got things I want to do around here. We should get to the Ritual Tower in the Western Approach as soon as possible, Your Worship. Uh, oh, we can talk to you some more. Talk about Laurel's around. the Warden Commander, right? What's she like? She was a good Warden. Once. Among those King Kaelin reached out to before the Blight. She always resented missing the chance to help. When the calling came, Clarell stopped listening to the rest of us. Only magic could solve this problem, she said. Do you think Corypheus is using the calling to control her? It's hard to say. I have heard the whispers of the calling myself, but it's only noise, no words, certainly no commands. Either way, the guilt is hers. She's Warden Commander. She should bow to no one's word but Weishaupt's. What's it like being a Warden? I can't even imagine. It's been a long time since I was anything else. It becomes your life, searching out Darkspawn, killing them, ensuring no one ever knows how close they are. Corypheus was in a warden prison, right? So you must know something about him. I know little, and that much only because of my relative seniority. Most wardens have never heard of him. Hmm. When I suggested Corypheus might have something to do with the calling, the warden mages turned on me. I trained Why? some of those wardens myself. If I knew any more of Corypheus, I would share it, Your Worship. That's very strange that turned on you just for suggesting something. They definitely are a bit crazy, I guess, but to turn on you for that? Because they think they're going to die, why would they get angry at you and try and kill you unless you're not really telling me the whole story? Well, they definitely are being controlled somehow, rather than just scared into thinking they're dead. So what are the quests we have here? How do I check that in my journal? Uh, done that one. What's this one? 
Oh, this is all quest lines. Uh, is it? Yes. I don't know how to get back to... Hang on. Journal. So I wanted to do the... Oh, we crest wood, that's right. Ah, yes, we have to go and close up the thingy with the dam. Yes, the naturalist man in crest was concerned about his friend. Oh my. That could be interesting. Sister of all, monster creamy at the bodies of people. You can do that whenever you want. I want to check this naturalist one out. That seems interesting. Wherever she, she's over there. That's pretty close to us. I feel like we can take a detour to a certain extent. Anbularo! I mean, not Anbularo. Whatever the hell you beefalo things. Check up on Judith. Yeah. You can certainly do that when I get my stupid mount out that's kind of worthless. But at least we got rid of Vivienne. That's all that matters nowadays. Just trying to steal Iron Bull from me. Jesus. I can't believe she tried to do that, seriously. Go make lovey dovey with Gareth. Varric. Gareth is a character from a book I was reading. Certainly nothing to do with this game whatsoever. There is something of note there. Are you that... Oh, dear God. You can sit right there for a while, I'm not going to touch you for a bit. No. I'll come back to you eventually, but... Yeah. Hi, Judith. It's a bad time to come knocking. Between the corpses and the wyvern, nothing here is safe. But I wouldn't give to get my hands on that animal. The wyvern? There's a wyvern causing trouble? It used to hunt in the mountains. Didn't bother anyone but the bandits. <laughs> Lately, the beast got it in his head to come down here. It almost crippled Gold's little boy. Best someone kill it. I hope I get my hands on the liver. It makes a poison that kills rats like nothing. Do you farm out here? The name's Judith. I farm and I mend things for the village and people passing through. I did a fair trade with traveling merchants before the undead started attacking. And those bandits. Not to mention that dragon. But you still like living here. Rooting where you dig. Your land and no one else's this time. Well, that's... <laughs> Aren't you a sharp-eyed one? What do you know about the dragon? She moved in a month ago. The guards tried to run her off, but she snapped one's head off and she flew away. Holy crap. Poor Hamald. At least it was quick. Since then, she's eaten three horses, five goats, and two cats. Damn, there's poor goats and horses. The cats, not so much. If you're Judith, there's a man in the village concerned about you. <laughs> that must be Gould, fretful as ever. I'm glad he stayed in Crestwood. He's fast as you please with a loom, but terrible with a sword. Mm. Until later. Be safe. So we can fight a dragon, if we wish. I see something on the mini-map that's... Kill the cave wyvern. And the cave wyvern is... Pretty damn far away. Ah... Uh, was this the... Yeah. Guess we'll... Yeah, we'll do that as our main thing. These guys look foreboding, don't they? Um, I see some loot up there, might as well climb up to see what it is. Go on, Kim. And you have the high ground advantage, too. Some deep mushroom. Huzzah! Take that! Oh. 
Whoa! No! I... Haha! -ha. I guess I should jump up there as well. And I'll let my people do their thing. Oh, you did not just... You did not... Why do you hate me? Beefalo? Oh. Whoa, whoa. Okay, why are we attacking a beefalo? It's immune. Alright, what are you? You're vulnerable to fire. Oh, there's plenty of fire. Hang on. You're gonna get your ass hurt if you stay there. It's coming towards you, I believe. Or it's trying to run away. Well. He killed a beefalo again. Easy to understand why people turn into bandits if the nobles don't protect you from crap like this. From beefaloes? Yeah. Them beefaloes are bad. Bad, bad, bad. How are people as bad? They just sit there and act all tough, but well, unless you provoke them and attack them, then they're not really that tough. Hey, look, uh, some more seeds. So that's where I go from, not from the mushrooms. Huh. I thought that's from the mushrooms. Let's try that again. Embryo. Embryo? Nope. Okay, so Embryo's just... It seems these seeds are randomly picked up then. This place looks... Well, it looks kind of... Uh, deserted. There's a note. A charred note. I saw that what those bandits did to Randall's farm. And that's enough. And if I can't stay here, I'm not letting the sodding harwomen take my home from me. If any of you slugs can read, I set the fire with heaps of dried cow dung. Hope you like sifting through the ashes. <laughs> yeah. Well, luckily left some loot here. Like a superior vanguard. Why would you leave that? I would, I would have assumed that that would be pretty good to keep. So this warrior only. And Bolero! Oops. Actually, it's worse than what you have. Oh. Huh. Ah, uh, Cassandra! You are not here, so I can't really do it. Go around. Okay, fine. Makes sense. To a degree. Something else here? Oh! Almost left the sack behind. It does things. <laughs> I have like completely ignored the crafting system most of the time. I've crafted a few things, I guess, but it's not my sole concern. And that castle looks amazing. Hell, this whole entire area, this whole entire area is amazing. Oh, somewhere to claim that mix of towers. Oh. That's definitely an inviting place. Take back the K.O. Bronach. Well, I will claim it as mine, that's for sure. Boom! The Gellers of K.O. Bronach. The Gellers by the fortress are left over from when Orleus warred with the Ferelden. Let us be grateful they have not seen use in years, apart from children using the ropes as swings before the gamekeeper chases them all. The memoirs are supposed to warn a crest to it. That is definitely a positive. There's a <gasps> the mayor talked about. Yes. The bandits. They're frightened inside. Trapped by the walls that protect them. Huh. But we found some Alfred. 
We are kings once again. I feel like this door won't really open though. Do have to bash it? Knock, knock. Holy m Hang on, how did you do that? I didn't give you that power, did I? I don't know what I gave you now. You did the same thing as me. Uh, is it worthwhile? No. Oh yeah, that'd be worthwhile. I guess I set you on fire because that's what it's locked onto and I couldn't really do anything else. Nice. Oh god, man. Hopefully you can't hear it, but someone's decided to play guitar. I guess it adds a bit to the... the whole thing. Uh, I don't know. So you guys vulnerable to anything that we know of? No, you're burning now. Hi. Oh, he's angry. Ha ha! I'm behind this thing. And I set you on fire and then you fell down dead. Oh dear. I feel like Cole needs to heal up. Hang on. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. You, my friend. Let's... Hang on, I, I, I've forgotten exactly what I gave him now. <sighs> oh my god, he's got necromancer powers. What the hell have I done wrong? No freaking way. Oh no, I didn't know you had these. I just ignored him completely. And now. Uh... Oh, that sucks balls. Oh, that's ice mine. Oh, man. Doran is all versed in spells that bind and manipulate fey spirits. Oh, I so have to re-roll you again. Oh, my God. What does it have, though? Unleash spirits of fear, terrify enemies in the area. That's awesome. Blind Terry have learned how the enemies are vulnerable. And their terror enemies panicked for taking increased damage. Actually, it's not that good. Like, it's good, but it's not that good. Uh, definitely when he levels up, I will certainly pop some points in here, but... Eh, that's alright, but that's right, right at the end. Okay, I'm, I'm suddenly okay with what's happening. Okay, that, that, that's not as bad as I thought it was. Kim, run. I thought I saw Kim attack him and then he flew up over there somewhere. I hope that ice mine's not going to be very useful now, is it? She got on her. Oh, she's got one of these, um, things. Can I check what's currently affecting her? At all? You don't have anything special, do you? No. Just that. Did anyone else um, suddenly level up in a different area that I didn't know of? Yes. Yes, they did. Oh my god. You shitting me. Well, it makes me want to re-roll everyone now so I can get these new things. Holy crap. Wow, okay. I'll look at those when I get the chance. Certainly we'll look at them, that's for sure. Figure out what to do next if I want to re-roll my people, if I am happy with how they are right now. That's 
very interesting. I had no idea that that unlocked. I don't think it ever told me. Unless when Kim discovered her newfound powers, then sure. They told me then, but I thought it was just Kim that had that power since she had the thing in her hand. Strange. <laughs> 